सभी जनालाई नमस्कार मौस आगर दाहल बाइस प्रिंसिपल दो सेलिब्रेशन को एक कॉलेज को कागिशरी मनरा नगर पालिका मारवाई को यो साइंस कॉलेज मां संपूर्ण विद्यार्थी बाय बनुलाई एकार और बारह को विद्यार्थियों को आज सेड्यूल अनुसार ध्यान रा मेडिटेशन को मेडिटेशन को प्रयोग सहित मोटिवेशन क्लास मां मो संपूर्ण प्यारा विद्यार्थी बाय बनुलाई स्वागत करने चाहनु आज को हमी संगा विशेष मोटिवेशन सेशन को लागे इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज कम्युनिकेशन का आधारीय बिनु दवाड़ी सर हनुंसा जो एमपीएल रिसर्चर के रूप में एमपीएल स्कॉलर्स ही स्कॉलर्स के रूप में कर्फ्यू इंडस्ट्री स्कूल ऑफ एजुकेशन में आप बताओ नुंसा मावा को डिस्ट्रिक्ट जानकारी एक एक चीन में कराऊंगी सो मैंने वाला स्क्रीन में देखी सकी कुछ मो आधरी ये बिना दुआड़ी सर लापनी कार्यक्रम में स्वागत करना चाहनु रहा हमी पहला मेडिटेशन सेशन बात आगरी बोलते हूँ तेज पिछाड़ी थैंक यू सागर सर नमस्कार तू ऑन संपूर्ण प्यारा विद्यार्थी भाई बहन यहां में धार लीधा गर्दन लीधा रान मुद्रा में बस् को लगी अनुरोध करना चाहूँ संपूर्ण प्यारा विद्यार्थी भाई बहन ज्ञान मुद्रा में बस् को लगी अनुरोध करना चाहूँ सब जाना हमी कक्षा एगार और बाहर का विद्यार्थी आज रेगुलर हर एक बिहार हर एक बिहार हम मोटिवेशन रेडिटेशन को क्लास होने आज हमी यूनिवर्सिटी स्कूल अफ एजुकेशन में अलग एम फिल को थेसिश आदरणीय विनोद दुआड़ी सर जिससे इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज आज तब सपोर्ट कर तू भन्दा अगाड़ी आज हम छोटो मेडिटेशन को प्रयोग करने मे मेडिटेशन संग संग आज हम इंग्लिश का विभिन्न चरण में हम टोफेल कस्त हो आयल्स कस्त हो प्रोनाउंसिएसन में कह कह इरर हो अंग्रेजी इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज कहत्व राखा छो इस महत्व के यो ग्लोबल कम्युनिकेशन में यह अगले को ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी स्कूल में हमीर इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज कहत्व ये विविध विषय में आज हम इन्भाइटेड गेस्ट आदरणीय विनोद दुआड़ी सर ने यहाँ समक्ष छोटो चालीस मिनट को क्लास लिखने रहा मूर्ण विद्यार्थी ज्ञान मुद्रा में बस्ना को लगी अनुरोध करना चाहूँ आँखा छिम्म कर आँखा दुबई आँखा बंद धार सीधा गर्तन लीधा राख्ह आई रे सास गई रे सास केवल ख्याल कर लामो गहरों सास आई रे सास गई रे सास केवल ख्याल कर धरें विद्यार्थी भाई बहन अनलाइन मार्फत बा विभिन्न चरण में बहुत ही उत्कृष्ट तरीका यहाँ असाइनमेंट गुगल स्लाइड देखि संपूर्ण प्रयोग करें यहाँ को अध्ययन राम भैर मूर्ण विद्यार्थी भाई बहन धन्यवाद दिन चाहूँ यही निरंतरता दिन को लगी आग्रह करना चाहूँ किप एन डुइंग सेम हमी आज एक भ्रामरी कर एक मिनट जी मूर्ण विद्यार्थी यो जिब्रो ने मथिलो तालू में आँखा बंद कर मौरी ने घुमुना को आवाज निकालना को लगी अनुरोध करना चाहूँ एक मिनट मात्र हमी ये टाइम स्टार्ट नाव मैं यहाँ सुरू कर हम एक मिनट भ्रामरी कर भ्रामरी सब जाना को लगी अनुरोध करना चाहूँ भिब आवाज निकालोस् मौरी गुनगुना जो तो आवाज निकालोस् अब तीस सेकेंड बाकी तीस सेकेंड लहाँ अगड़ी बढ़ा धरें राम विद्यार्थी भाई बहन ने 
इसलिए तपाईला आनंद को फील पनी गराऊं सा तपाईं आप ही रिफ्रेश नोने सा राखा बंदे राखे रा फील ग्रैटिट्यूड टुवर्ड्स योर पेरेंट्स अहवाब तपाईं को अभिभाव करू लाई तपाईं हरुले फील गर्नु नोने सा थैंक्स टू योर पेरेंट्स जस्ट ले तपाईं लाई यस तो बात आप बरान उपलब्ध कराई दिन बायो Thanks to your teachers, just lay the perlai. You COVID 19 co pandemic situation mapani, Niranta Rupa, class or Sansalan Garde, the perlai, the peruko, Kacha Egharako, or Kacha Barako, Niranta classes are Dinaho, Hirekosha Guru Haru Prati Naman Garnuhos, Parmatma Prati Naman, just the Gordata Azahami, Yis two of us tamapani, Mazali Ponda Paikaso, Kune Dubida Saina Hamilai. Feel gratitude towards everyone. Parmatma Prati Naman Garo. You saas harata hami aja zibit song. You saas nabai hamra ostit to kids hara. Justly Gardakiri, Sampuna Parmatma Bhagwan Haru Afno Ama Buba Yaru Josunga Hununsa Gharma Dai Didi. भाई बहिनी बुआ आमा काका काकी जो संग होनुं जा सब इला थैंक यू भानेरा तबेर ले समझने वाला र थैंक यू तबेर ले दिन पनी पारने सा कारण वहाँ रुको साइड ना बही देखो भाई साइड तबेर हरु आजा जो स्थान में होनुं ना थियो नामो गैरुसास एक दिन पटक अब नामो गैरुसास I recusas, great recusas like cable calgaro Ramro Gorilla Knu by Gusa, Aji Ramro Gonos, J. Problem Hutahiri Penny, Sier Gonos, Jatipenny, Samasia Ronson, Tini Huruko Samadan, Maniko Communication Neho, Communication Gordai, Teska, Samasaka, Hall Harugar de Hami, Ogadi Bono Ponisa, Sitchik Satir de Topele, Bohutarikale. सहयोग गर्नु भएको छ गुगल क्लासरूम गुगल स्लाइड पावर पॉइंट स्मार्ट बोर्ड विभिन्न अनलाइन टूल्सहरु प्रयोग भएका छन् यसको भरिपूर्ण तपाईहरुले यसको तपाईले युज गर्नुपर्ने छ र यही अनुसार तपाईहरुको यथा भोलिका दिन कलले देखेको छ र यही अनुसार पनि हामीले इभालुएसन गर्नुपर्ने भएको कारणले यहाँहरु सम्पूर्ण विद्यार्थी भाइबहिनीहरुलाई जो अहिले 11 र 12 मा सेलिब्रेशन आगामी दिन में अजा यो बंदा राम बतारी काले आपने पठन सहेली लाई अगाडी बढ़ाने को लाई पनी हार्दिक अनुरोध करने चाहन चु अब एक दिन पर डॉग लाम हो गए रुसास हमें मेडिटेशन को अंतिम अंतिम माय का सों लाम हो गए रुसास आ बीस पच्चीस पर डॉग अब आंखें बंद नहीं करे रहा हाथ लाई रोग डों र आएको तापलाई हाम्रो आँखामा लगेर विस्तार हामी आँखा खोल्न सक्छौ आएको तापलाई पाखुरा तिर पनि लैजाऊ सबै सम्पूर्ण शरीरमा ऊर्जा उत्पन्न भएको छ विस्तार अब तपाईहरुले आँखा खोल्न सक्नुहुनेछ So we be dirty by and like it and it and never album as a cool carry from cool those for motivation session just my other family English language someone did invited guest for my speaker group my other name been not the body sorry not saw more been a daughter saw like one of the policy dinners and to one customer university school of education on and saw the nail ta your English school society who just my dozens of session Nepal man a bidis ma wali lead of Nubai Gusa, the youngest linguistic award in 2019 penny, Binna the Wadi Sadi Prapta Guris of Nubai Gusa, Bivina plenary talk, the session Hadu Philippines, Tesco France, Bivina Sansa Stamapani, other Nibina the Wadi Sadi, 
यो रिसर्च संबंधी आर्टिकल और पब्लिश कर रखने वाले को सब ने वहाँ लाइक एकदम मजा लाख से यो आर्टिकल पब्लिश करना को लागी रा इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज टीचिंग और लर्निंग में बहुत ही खूब रुचि दे रा अपनों मन मुटु धड़कन कॉलेजो तेजे ही में समर्पित करने वाले को सब मैं अब आपको सेशन आगाडी बढ़ा� Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I am very honored and privileged to have a very beautiful bio from you, sir. I would like to welcome all of you in my session. Today, I don't think so. I will be talking much about English language. So it has been kind of needless to say, to share the things everybody knows about language. Everybody has uh, understood its value. So that's why I, I'll not be talking a lot. Uh, perhaps I'll be taking only uh, around 20 or 25 minutes. Sagar, sir, uh, am I right? Yeah, um, yes, sir, yes. Okay. So uh, would you allow me to share my screen? Uh, please, sir. OK. Uh, uh, yeah, it is clear, sir. It is clear and visible, sir. So, uh, my topic uh, for today's presentation is why English language. So, it is a kind of a buzz word why English language. Uh, I think uh, I should ask uh, you the value, the uh, the value, the significance of English language at first before I go to my slides. Uh, any of you can share or uh, your ideas, what you have understood about the things uh, since you have been learning English language. So, any of you would you like to put some words? Any ideas? So anyway, okay. So you might have thought uh, when you talk about English language, uh, some kinds of things, some kind of uh, understanding comes to your mind, obviously. Okay. So today, uh, as I have already mentioned, I'll not be talking much. Uh, our agendas will be uh, of three points. The first one is, I'll be talking about the significance of learning English language in today's world. Yeah, why English is important in today's world. Similarly, pronunciation of voice and voiceless sounds. So it is a kind of a, a problem for we negligent uh, English language learner. Which words are voice and which are not? So the last will be the last topic, the last agenda will be the very standardized tests and its know-how, its, uh, you know, related terms, as we know, IELTS and TOEFL. So these things will be discussed today within 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes. So let's, uh, you know, uh, just you can uh, look at this picture, uh, this uh, slide. What do you see? I think uh, one uh, term that I have carried out from your textbook. Oops, how is that again? You might have studied about it. I think uh, some of you are from grade 11. Am I right? Hello? Am I audible now? You are right, sir. Sagar, sir, yes, am I sir. audible? OK, OK. So um, just look at one statement over here. In 1965, Prior to her reception for Queen Elizabeth II, outside ban, Germany's President Heinrich Leuk attempting an state said, who are you? To which his guest answered responsibly, I am the President of India. So actually, the, uh, you know, that President Heinrich Leuk was supposed to ask, how are you? But he happened to ask, who are you? Actually, 
that president of India was already invited by the president of Hendrik, President Hendrik Luvke. So it was an interesting, you know, issue. It was happened in 1965. It is not fiction. It is a real story. That's why you can read this statement in your textbook. Right. So the textbook name is The Magic of Words. It is taught in grade 11. So, but uh, so far as I have known, uh, we, we are supposed to change our textbook, but it is still the matter of debate. So anyway, anyway, it doesn't matter. So this, you know, this is taught in, oops, how is that again? That chapter is written by Roser Rosenblatt. That's why it's interesting. So you may be asking to me, sir, why did you carry this one? So the, just you can see, you can see the significance of English language. Instead of knowing, uh, instead of asking, how are you? He happened to say, who are you? So now you can uh, realize that the importance of English language. You would have asked, who are you or how are you in, in his own language, but he, he spoke that language, English language, although he did not know how to speak. It's very interesting. That's why I carried out. Instead of saying, how are you? But he said, who are you? How did the president of India feel, feel at the time? So how is, you know, what kind of, you know, same situation, what kind of uh, very difficult situation was occurred there? Just you, you, have, you can guess over here. So that's why I, I, I carried out this one. Just look at, uh, you know, the second picture. Uh, you are so familiar with ATM, right? So there you can read, I think you might have already read it. Enter pin number and parents enter pin. So, so instead of, you know, putting, uh, sorry, instead of, you know, putting uh, some kind of number we have to put there, but instead of putting, uh, putting inserting pin number, just he, instead of that, he put, he inserted a needle like a pin into the ATM. So some, sometimes English language, you know, makes us confused what to do, what not to do. So anyway, we have to learn English language, either, you know, taking out money from the ATM or whatever. So welcoming the guest or whatever. So that is second uh, thing that I would like to share with you. Yeah. So uh, I think I should not share this one. You have already been uh, told by your teacher. Most of the teachers have to have the habit of saying this one made in China. Okay. Made in China. So the, the, the product which is uh, manufactured in India, but uh, unluckily what they have to write it made in China. So how unlucky people they are. Why they do not write made in China in the Chinese language instead of writing in English language. English, since English language is not their mother tongue, neither this is mother tongue, nor it is fully taught in their course. So amazing thing. That's why they, they write made in China. As actually they have to sell the products in other countries to make people know what the product is, how does it work, what the function is, this kind of thing. Okay, so when you see your, uh, your, you know, the product you have been using, when you look at that, obviously that is manufactured by China, but that rides made in China. Okay. Yeah. So, so let's, uh, let's discuss about it. The importance of English language. Why do we learn language? So I sometimes, uh, you know, one, once uh, what I used to say was, why do we invest time, effort, and money for this language? So three things all the time we are spending, we are, uh, you know, investing over English language, okay? So English language is spoken in 53 various countries as official, official language. So in Nepal, English is not so far used for official purpose, but 53 countries uh, speak English language as their official language, right? And the next one, next thing is that, so it is spoken, you know, this language is spoken as a first language or what we call mother tongue, okay? Matri Bhasa in Nepali, okay? So it is spoken by 400 million people worldwide. So it is estimated that, right? It is guessed that, by 2020, about 2, mil, 2 billion people in the world will be studying English. 
So this is one of very fresh research, very fresh report carried by British Council in 2020. So now we have to conclusion that we have to come we have to come to conclusion that English the charm over English is growing day by day. Okay, so we have to have English language. So it is kind of our guru used to say in our classroom, English language is hard not, annuity not to crack. Okay, so it is it is a kind of not we have to crack. Okay, so that's why English the significance of English language is growing day by day. So let's move to second uh, next slide. Okay, it gives a various access to more entertainment, more access to the internet. Okay, so tell me, you just you can share what kind of softwares do you use? Okay, please, uh, please, uh, uh, you just share what kind of software do you use? Just tell me, just, just you can drop your answer in chat box as well. Just you one, two, three, like that. Just you can drop your answer as well. So let's let's make this classroom quite inter interactive. Yeah, you can. You you have the you know you have the. Uh, autonomy you have the right to share your answer what kind of software are we using or uh, today uh, today for the first time we are meeting now okay as sagar sir is facilitating to us through some kind of software so in which language this software uh, in which language is the software uh, used obviously your answer comes there english language is used not only google meet even you are fond of using surfing facebook viva internet uh, you know various uh, various sources of internet everything most of the softwares most of the you know that kind of uh, software are available in english language so whenever you are competent over english language you can use it until and unless we are competent in english language so it's uh, you know quite challenging to us to to use the uh, the things I mean the software that we are using in. Okay, so uh, just you can observe here. Yeah, Wikipedia, Facebook. Yeah, please don't ask me how many names. No, so there are countless uh, software we are which are available in the English language. So it is estimated that 565 million people use the internet every day, and about 52 percent of the world's most visited websites are played, displayed in English okay so the place of the the area of uh, websites are the much of the area of websites are displayed in english okay similarly yeah obviously english make it easier to travel wherever we go right uh, now as we say as uh, sagar sir used one term this is global globalized in a globalized scenario okay as we talk about, you know, uh, now it has been termed like a global village. One village is we can put that you know world on onto our palm. Okay, so why is it possible? How is it possible? Because of that contact language. English has been a contact language, or in other words, we we can say lingua franca. I think your teacher might already have taught about it. English language is lingua franca whenever we wherever we go english language is used to uh, to talk to communicate okay so as it, as it is the first language uh, is spoken by 53 countries likewise for second language do you know what second language uh, what is second language obviously we are the we are the speaker of second language third language right uh, some of them are, uh, you know, some of them uh, in the in the case of some of your friends or some of you, uh, it might be third language or fourth language, something like that. Okay, so most of you, uh, most of you take this one as a second language, the language which is spoken after lang Nepal language. Okay, so it, it, it is used by more than 118 countries. Now, so learning the language makes it easier and safer to travel everywhere whenever you go right so you can speak in english then people will respond to you easily and your destination will be fulfilled or your 
um, your travel will be success. That's why first English, then travel. Let me say like that. Okay. So now, not only English is uh, you know important for travel, but also, okay, whenever you use English language, it makes you smarter. Okay. So you might you you just might remember that one day. Uh, 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 before one day, I think, right? so far as I remember, our Prime Minister went to UN Declaration Office. Then he spoke in English language. And many of the Nepalese, you know, were uh, honored, right, by listening to that. I don't know why we were honored. We were, we were feeling happy. He would have spoken in Nepali language, but when he spoke in English language, then we, we thought that, yeah, he is a talented person, right? What a talented person he is. So. So this kind of uh, fallacy, this kind of understanding we are putting in. That's why whenever English is spoken, it is like it's smarter. Whenever you speak English language, it is kind of smart things. It makes you smarter than other things. It enhances your cognitive analogy ab abilities. Okay. So many of the experts believe that when you speak multiple languages or even English languages, English language, it enhances your cognitive abilities, your mind, your cognitive uh, cognitive uh, power. Okay, so analytical abilities. Okay, when you learn English language, it increases your analytical abilities. How we have to analyze the things. Okay, until unless we we learn the things, we learn English language. It's uh, it is kind of, it is quite far to uh, to uh, to develop our cognitive abilities. Many of the experts believe in it. Okay, so to make our cognitive and analytic abilities enhance or smarter or much uh, uh, much creative, we have to learn English language. Learning a new language changes the brain structure. Obviously, okay. A Swiss study report says that learning a new language changes the brain structure. When you learn the language, that that saves or that gives a uh, different types, different types of shifts in your mind. So this is one. Uh, it's not much phrase, but although it is not phrase, but Swiss report. It was done in 2012. Okay, so it was found out. Okay, so uh, that's all about English language and its significance. So when we, uh, you know, Sagar sir gave me 30 minutes for talking about uh, the importance of English. So the significance of English language for 30 minutes, but I don't think so. In 30 minutes, we can talk the its importance. So even one day session or two day session will not be sufficient for talking about the importance of English language. Sorry to say that. Okay, so uh, let's move to our second uh, agenda, as we have already displayed in our agenda number two, that is IELTS. So before starting myself. So would you would you uh, would you share your ideas? What have you heard about IELTS at first? So let me know. Let me listen from your from your side. Just uh, you know, uh, 10, 10, 15 fifteen second. We can think it think it of it. Anyone? Have you heard about it? Yes, sir. It is a type of test taken for international studies. When we go, you uh, for studying uh, in university in international. Oh, very, very nice, uh, very beautiful idea. Okay, thank you, thank you. I did not uh, see the name as it is. Uh, you know, stop sharing kind of function is that I'm very poor at this kind of thing. Sorry to say. Uh, anybody else? Any more? Anyone? Very beautiful idea is already shared by one of your friends. Is anyone there? I think. Yeah, it's not, uh, uh, you know, it's not a new new thing that is uh, supposed to talk. So anyway, let's talk about IELTS and TOEFL, all these things. So I think uh, you have seen my screen here. Uh, why IELTS? International English Language Testing System. Okay. So many people say IELTS, many IELTS, or I don't know, many. <laughs> so they have a different way of uh, talking, IELTS, over uh, people people have different way of talking, different way of pronouncing the words. International English language testing system. 
okay now as we have the full marks uh, 50 marks or 100 marks most of the our exams are run for 100 marks 100 full marks likewise it also has full marks but one very open secret is that it doesn't have it does not fail you okay so whenever you take a, this a kind of exam you will not fail but the grade you know the grade uh, determines you how far better you are how far you are not like that so uh, it is quite interesting system i also uh, attended i also attended uh, this uh, examination two years back okay it has the system of uh, giving a one to nine bands taking the ielts test opens the door yeah obviously yeah whenever yeah, since we are the student we are uh, dreaming of um, yeah, going uh, abroad for a study for work most of we are dreaming of uh, uh, study in abroad that's why whenever we we think it we just uh, we want to go to abroad we have to take this kind of test okay it helps you to open your academic doors let's say academic doors yeah physical door you can just uh, open uh, within one uh, one key very small key likewise our academic door will be opened with the help of this academic test that is none other than IELTS yeah so uh, definitely it helps you to study it helps you to you uh, to live or work or settle somewhere else in the world where English language is needed okay so that's why English language uh, IELTS test is uh, for opening your academic door. So uh, I think uh, most of you are familiar with this term. Uh, IELTS test has this kind of testing system has, you know, four categories to be tested. Okay, four categories to be tested. One is obviously listening, reading writing speaking so in short we sometimes say lsrw okay lsrw is tested in your IELTS examination okay first so um, let me start from listening in listening part you will be listen or you or, you know a cassette will be played there okay so in that recorded cassette you will have you will ha you will be listening multiple you know you will be listening different types of you know one two three different types of uh, text okay so as soon as you finish that you you have to give answer for multiple choice item test likewise uh, diagram leveling and the third one is sentence completion the last one is summary completion okay almost 30 minute 30 minute is given right uh, for 40 questions 40 questions the, the number of question will be 40 you are supposed to complete within 30 minutes it's a very mechanic you know, what happened uh, you know in my case also once uh, two years back i attended the, the the testing system then the question was given and uh, i the the cassette was already played i was listening and i happened to remember uh, some kind of thing uh, i i was out of track then i missed everything i let's not say everything but i missed two questions at the time so from my experience what you have to con come to conclusion is that you need to be very very attentive while the cassette is playing okay if the cassette is being played by the examiner at the time you need to be very attentive very conscious when you you know when you uh, remember when you go back to your home then everything will be uh, missed that's why you have to you are you you are suppose you are you know uh, suggested don't, not to remember everything while playing the cassette it's very a mechanic so okay for that day if we meet then we will talk uh, about about it later so let me move to reading. So for the part of reading, time is only 60 minutes. That means one hour for 40 questions. Okay. 
so for reading reading text will be given three text will be given right okay first one is multiple choice questions second one sentence completion summary completion matching figures matching headings okay so your uh, textbook of class 9 and 10 also help you uh, to uh, bridge the gap between ielts examination and your uh, se examination okay now the course has been designed as if you are going to take ielts examination okay so writing so for the part of writing two tasks will be given there okay two questions will be there okay so time is 60 minute okay and the last one is speaking three parts in this section time is uh, only 1 11 to 14 first you have to share your uh, personal background right and then the examiner will ask you about your study then the last one will be given, you, you will be given some kind of you know situation based on that situation you have to give your answer it's quite tricky as well okay so you have to show your variety of grammar structure right a variety of uh, vocabularies that matter a lot while taking speaking a test my my experience also says that okay so if you have any question uh, at last we will be uh, discussing about it as well so let's move to next one yeah so I have already uh, discussed about it. Uh, so let's, uh, more than 9,000 organizations worldwide recognize the IELTS in International English Language Testing System. The, our report says that uh, not only government, uh, academic, and employment institutions, right? So, but also popular, you know, popular universities also need uh, IELTS, uh, IELTS uh, score. When you place IELTS score, there will be the high chance of scholarship and other facilities. It depends on the university. Most popular English language test with more than 1.7 million tests taken each. Okay, so every year, every student, most of the students take this kind of uh, test and they travel to their destination for completion for the for the purpose of completion their academic degree and settlement so see here IELTS is accepted by over 10,000 organizations in more than 114 countries 40 countries these include universities schools colleges training organizations even government department as well immigration authorities professional industry okay uh, associations multinational companies employers so IELTS were not everywhere okay whenever you are competent right just you face that kind of exam right just you have to have that kind of key as we have already talked to open the academic door so uh, that's all about uh, better not to say that's all about but uh, this is a cursory look over IELTS examination just you can uh, go through it Right, British Council website uh, will give you lots of ideas about it. Right, you can uh, you can uh, email them. They will be supporting. They will be supporting you with uh, lots of materials as well. Okay, in a, in a off offline mode as well. Okay, so IELTS, uh, you know, IELTS examination is uh, is taken in certain. Uh, uh, certain you know office or separate certain area whereas TOEFL has a kind of uh, facility okay it has kind of facility you can take this kind of test at your home whenever you are you have one laptop right if you are competent in typing right if you are good at typing kind of things so you'll be taking this kind of test okay so TOEFL, in short, taste of English as a foreign language. Okay, it is also uh, it also looks like IELTS IELTS test. So here also are the you know the uh, bands like reading, listening, speaking, writing. Okay, 
so almost there is a uh, 120 square as like uh, aisles in uh, in aisles there is only nine nine band whereas in tuffel there is 120 okay so it is uh, updated uh, record of 2019 okay it is a computer based test it tests your ability to communicate in english in specifically specifically academic university classroom based settings yeah, as like uh, IELTS, TOEFL also is for academic degree, right? Uh, academic, uh, it is a uh, uh, various university uh, need TOEFL uh, marks as well. Okay, so it is accepted by over eight thousand and five hundred institutions across one hundred thirty countries, including the UK, USA, Australia, as well as all over the uh, all the top world's top. Is, on the universities, okay. Mostly, top universities require either IELTS or TOEFL. Okay, so TOEFL is administered by US-based organization. Mostly, uh, TOEFL is administered by them. Okay, the Education Testing Service, so it's conducted in American English. Mostly, I think uh, most of you have the kind of uh, question: What is American English? What is British English? Okay, so there are some technical differences. In another session, if we have time, we'll be talking about it. Okay. Now today, I'm not going. I'll not. I'll not be talking about what is American English, what is British English, what is Scottish Standard English. So it takes a one hour class for talking all about it. Okay. Uh, this test is more likely to be favored by American institutions. Mostly, uh, TOEFL is, uh, you know, uh, preferred by American universities, American institutions. If you are supposed to, if you are plan, if you have planned to, uh, planned for America, then yeah, definitely your option will be for TOEFL rather than IELTS. Yeah, IELTS also is okay, but if you are mostly preferred there. So when you learn or when you take uh, IELTS exam, then uh, able to effectively communicate and succeed in an academic setting. Okay, TOEFL test is convenient because you can choose from various test site locations. The TOEFL is completely academic to demonstrate language skills learned in a classroom. For candidates who are nervous on speaking, yeah. So most of the um, Nepalese uh, English language learner, they are uh, quite uh, nervous or what to say, they are reluctant to speak English language in front of the uh, some <laughs> unknown or stranger. At that time, uh, what to say, let me use one word, introvert type of personality, yeah. If you have introvert type of personality, your option will be uh, TOEFL. TOEFL will be the best for you. Since you are very nervous, when you see, when you face uh, unknown or a strange person in front of you. Okay, so all the four sections are computer based. Yeah, listening, speaking, reading, writing, in short, LSRW. Okay, these four uh, items will be tested through computer. Taken by over 20 million people, helps in universities, in the decision making process okay so when you are good at english when you have the good uh, gra good grades or uh, good bands in your IELTS score yeah you will have the opportunity to have that kind of post as well so yeah uh, i can't uh, help you help saying that yeah english has apex uh, benefits you know to sharpen your or uh, to enlighten your future Okay, your score will be available online 10 days after you have taken test. Okay, when you face um, TOEFL exam, after 10 days, uh, your uh, mark will be, your grade will be forwarded through your mail. Okay, it takes 10 days. For the part of files also, in my time, uh, I was provided after 15 days. Okay, so uh, I don't know about much about TOEFL, but uh, yeah, this this is the, Fundamental part, this is the basic uh, ideas about TOEFL of the things. So now, so uh, uh, your schools will be, yeah, as we have already talked about, after 10 days it will be provided. Yeah, now I have completed by presenting some of my understanding over IELTS and TOEFL. So now uh, I just, I would like to move to kind of uh, phonetic, uh, phonology part of your of your language yeah let me say uh, it is a uh, pronunciation error types yeah 
uh, yeah, once uh, I have one very funny things. I don't know if you like you like or not. Once, uh, uh, yeah, once I heard one joke. One student was uh, asked to say to pronounce F U T U R E. Okay, and then uh, the student who was saying that future instead of saying future, the student was saying yeah, like a uh, you know uh, romanized romanized term. I think uh, before saying myself, what he was saying, what he said at the time, you have the answer in your mouth, I think. Okay. So that kind of uh, accident or language accident may take place because of not knowing the pronunciation error types. So what happens when we speak? So uh, sorry to say that even I'm a Nepalese, uh, you know, I'm Nepalese, Nepalese English language learner this is also my second language but i don't claim myself that i'm competent i'm good at pronunciation but i should say i'm one enthusiast of learning pronunciation types so being enthusiast since i'm an enthusiast to talk about pronunciation only i would like to share my experience okay don't uh, think that sorry is saying a pronunciation he is a good air he is a perfect don't take like that but only i would like to share my experience what happened to me what ha what may happen to you as well okay so let's uh, share some some ideas okay although it is not complete one uh i think you have seen my screen eat yeah, there is one eat. Regular verbs that in in da and ta in in an eat sound. Okay, sometimes I I happen to hear uh, the pronunciation made by my learner. Sir, wanted rice are you like that? They say sir, you the wanted rice, right? No? Sir, you the in in dead boyo like that. What here is start? Quite list. You so started boyo. Okay, so in that way they share the things. That is not their problem actually. Even we teachers don't know how to pronounce it. That's why students make mistake. Okay, but one thing that would like to that I would like to tenderly say to you that just you have to you just go to Google and you just you just search that right. What are the pronunciation error types? Mostly people face it. Okay, just I would like to share some of the things. Need. People say needed, but that is not needed. That is needed. That those verbs which end with D or T at the end. That is at past form that is pronounced like eed, not ate. As you can see, if there is a figure in the figure. You can see alveolar leaves, leaves, tongue tip. Tongue, oral cavity, nasal cavity, vellum. So various parts are there to pronounce one word, one one sound system. So many parts of your sound story, speech, uh, you know, parts take place. In not indeed, that is indeed. Start started. Want wanted like that. Would you love to pronounce it? Would you try once? Wanted, needed, okay, and uh, started like that. Would you like to share some other words which ended with, as I say, to and da? Whenever that verbs, regular verbs come, uh, in ends with to and da, at past form, we have to pronounce not aid. Instead of saying aid, rather, we have to pronounce it eat. It's very interesting. Okay, the more you practice uh, uh, in pronunciation types, pronunciation uh, topic, you will be entertaining a lot. It's like uh, watching cricket. At the very beginning, people don't know how you know how the players playing. What is wicket? What is wrong like that? But time for the time being, when you was one day, two day like that, then you'll be understanding. You'll be getting a lot of ideas about pronunciation neuro types as well. Okay, so similarly, so let me move to next one. Uh, 
ta regular verbs that end in an unvoiced consonant sound sir what do you mean by unvoiced consonant sound you may ask this kind of question okay so when you toss here just you toss would you like to toss over here i'm oh, sorry would you like to toss over here like me alveolaries here just you toss here pa pa no vibration is there j there is vibration j j pa okay for, for the part of pa when you pronounce pa there is no vibration for the part of j there is vibration okay so if there is vibration that is voiced if there is no vibration that is unvoiced okay unvoiced consonant unvoiced sounds no vibration in the throat when you toss this throat no vibration will be made there you are not using our vocal cords okay vocal cords unvoiced consonant sounds okay for example fa fa no vibration ka no vibration pa no vibration sha ta sha sha cha okay no vibration at all okay so these words are called unvoiced consonant sounds okay so next one ta laugh laft how do you pronounce just you laft 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 tip of the tongue goes up laft laugh not laughed laft laft like liked liked like liked not i liked liked okay mostly people make this kind of uh, error no right so like liked not liked although ed comes there like to pronounce is there because the word ends with pa to sha cha pa to ka sha cha when the word ends with that it's interesting isn't it yeah obviously so was not wast 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 watch watched watch watched like that ax ask axed shoko sk 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 isk we say isk right ask not ax shoko shoko cluster sh comes first then ko comes okay later ask axed but for the part of axed to and do both are acceptable since it is uh, supported by american british accents okay both axed and axed these are acceptable so in, it's interesting even we don't know sometimes so uh, look at this uh, slide do regular verbs that in in a voiced consonant sound voiced sounds means as i have already talked about when you touch in your neck on your uh, surface of neck then the vibration make the vibration occurs there for example do b first you say first you pronounce pa pa no vibration do vibration is there didn't you find i think you found it ga again vibration comes v again vibration comes doesn't it yeah it comes no no again it comes la 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 tip of the tongue goes up palatal hard palate this in this way la again it comes up okay that is called voice sounds so it is uh, tested when yes, sir sorry yes, sir we are at the end we have two minutes more okay sir okay sir thank you sir so in that way we can just uh, we can go through the things so uh, yeah grabbed bagged used listened killed in this way we we, we just we just taste our voice sound either the sound is voiced or not like that so there are the, there are the things sometimes yes sound is not pronounced yeah r uh, as r uh, an honest air hubs yeah in the us hubs 
is possible in the UK. In the US, herbs. In the UK, herbs. Okay, both are listed over here. So uh, yeah, you can see some some words that words do not have the its pronunciation, top pronunciation, co pronunciation like that. That if you are interested, you can go through the websites, various websites. You will find it. This is only cursory glance. Let's say, okay, psychology, pseudo psychiatrist, pneumatics. Po is obviously silent. I think you also have already experienced. Although you don't know the rule, but you have experienced. Okay, sometimes we don't know the rules, but we happen to pronounce correctly. Sometimes we don't know the rules and we, we make mistakes as well. So this kind of language problems. Okay, so yeah, uh, it's very interesting thing. When, how the stress is made, right? Uh, if the time, uh, if uh, we have uh, some more minute, we, uh, uh, I, we, will, or I, we, we will discuss about it. Since the time is running out, uh, let me skip it. It's many, many, many words are there, right? How to pronounce it. It's all about it. Any queries? If you have any queries, you can, uh, you can share your queries with me. Since I'm not an expert of phonetics and phonology, but obviously I'm one of the students of phonetics and phonology, I have the interest, I have the eager, uh, I wish I, uh, you know, I would, I could share some of the, uh, some more ideas in the days to come as well. Thank you very much uh, for your passion. Thank so you I very much, uh, Bina sir. Uh, thank you so much, Bina sir. Uh, really, uh, even I got the opportunity to learn something uh, regarding the importance of English language, uh, TOEFL, IELTS, and the pronunciation that we did, how we are doing mistakes and so on thank you very much sir and in coming days also we will be obviously taking uh, your support for developing our students uh, in uh, different modes so special thanks to Binod Dawadi sir for having this wonderful session for class 11 and 12 uh, so in coming days also we will be uh, having several type of classes so thank you Faye, again and now I'm stopping recording uh, so uh, dear students you can join uh, I think the link for XI and XII group are already in the messenger group for next class so once again uh, by thanking our Binod Dawadi sir I would like to request all the students to go to respective classes. Thank you very much.